In today's video, we listen to a native speaker say that their friends don't follow through with things. Let's find out what that means and try and understand more. This example speech is a little bit different in terms of topic. It's about friendships and advice. Somebody's talking about their friend. So let's listen to the segment. It's about 30 seconds long, and then we're going to take a look at the script afterwards. So if you're ready, let's take a listen. Recently, it feels like everyone's relying on me. It's minor stuff, but it all adds up. Like, I have this friend, sweet girl, very caring. She's been having a rough time lately. But at the same time, she doesn't do herself any favours. What I mean by that is, she always asks for advice, whether it's family issues or relationships. But whenever I try to give my opinion, she either brushes it off completely or just kind of agrees, but then never follows through with what I've said. So I don't really know how else to help her. Anyway, sorry for ranting on. Okay, there were quite a few fast bits there. I'm not sure uh, how difficult that was for you, but let's take a look at what was said. Recently, it feels like everyone's relying on me. It's minor stuff, but it all adds up. So saying that something all adds up is quite a common way of saying that many small things have added up and have become something significant. For example, you only study for five minutes a day, but it all adds up. That's a positive way. I bought too many things online recently. They were only small, but they all add up, meaning you're spending too much money. Hold on. Like I have this friend. Sorry, that wasn't a very natural way of saying it. Like I have this friend, sweet girl, very caring. She's been having a rough time lately. Rough, of course, being a tough or difficult time. But at the same time, she doesn't do herself any favors. This means um, when you're making things hard for yourself, which is often your own fault or it could be avoided. So if someone else says, I have no energy today, you could say, well, you're not doing yourself any favors by staying up late. Maybe you know that person likes to play video games at two in the morning, or you can say that you're not doing yourself any favors. Maybe uh, there's something else as well, but that's your own fault. So maybe her rough time is to do with other things as well, but also at the same time, she's doing something to herself as well. Now she goes on to explain. What I mean by that is she always asks for advice, whether it's family issues or relationships. So she's asking for advice on, you know, a variety of different things. Next page. But whenever I try to give my opinion, she either brushes it off completely. Now brushing something off means to ignore something that was said or to kind of, you know, not really do anything about it. This is a big problem. Don't just brush it off. It has this idea, this image of, oh, okay, but you know, we put it to one side and nothing gets done. Ignore them, brush it off. Now, in this case, you're telling somebody to ignore them. Maybe somebody's being mean or said something that um, they shouldn't have said. You're telling someone brush it off, meaning pay no notice, it's okay, don't, you know, let it upset you. And also be careful of brushing up, brushing up your English uh, is a similar sounding expression with a completely different meaning. So she either brushes it off completely or just kind of agrees, but then never follows through with what I've said. So following through with something is to continue an action until it's completed. For example, he made a study plan but didn't follow through with it. So you're kind of got something going, you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to do this. I've got my books, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. And then, you know, you don't. Seem familiar? Sorry, not accusing you. To carry on with something or to see something through is also something you might hear. So what does this mean? Well, she's sometimes she ignores what's said and sometimes she says, oh yeah, okay, that's good advice. I'm gonna do it, but then, you know, doesn't seem to. So I don't really know how else to help her. And then that's kind of the end of, you know, her reporting about her friend. 
And then anyway, sorry for ranting on, which is kind of just a polite, oh, I've, I've been talking too much. Uh, to rant means to say a lot of negative things in one go. He just ranted on and wouldn't let me speak. So she's basically saying, oh, you know, I've said lots of negative things. Uh, maybe you're getting a bit bored by now. Uh, sorry about that. And uh, complete opposite to rave on about something is to give lots of positive things to say about something. Oh, he kept raving on about that new restaurant. He said it was really good. I think that could also, I think that could also be uh, easily mistaken. Sorry for ranting on. Sounds like I'm ranting on now. So I will say that that is the end for English in Five today. Please go back and take another listen. See if you can make a bit more sense of what was said. Uh, play around with the speed. Shadowing's another good idea. And make your own comments with something new that you've learned today. And I'll take a look at it. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.